So today I'll be showing how one of the techniques I use whenever I'm making digital music. Um, I'll be showing you how to use peer controllers to control the effects. Uh, peer controller is an automated controller that can make it so that certain filters and uh, envelopes or even note signals are modulated in a uh, in a um, in a like a, a sign back and back and forth style uh, modulation. Um, you can use this to add natural breath to instrument sounds or you can use it to control the uh, the signals that are going through different effects um, and have it just do it automated so that a lot of the work's done on its own and you end up with a pretty organic soundscape so just for starters I'm going to throw in one of my favorite instruments pearl drum um, and this program is Jess Cola Buzz, one of the oldest trackers ever made. Um, not really. The oldest tracker would probably be Impulse Tracker and Scream Tracker. Uh, there was other trackers for years that were used to make mods. Uh, Jess Cola Buzz came out for Windows and, uh, and I've been supporting it ever since. It's basically the same thing as all original trackers. It doesn't produce dot .mod files but you can use your own wave sample libraries and stuff like that. So, let's throw down a little beat real quick. All right. So we got our beat. Now let's add a, a bass effect, bass machine generator. My favorite bring, of course, green milk. And let's just do something simple. Yeah. 
a little bit too much off track. Connected. Add another pure LFO. Assign a perimeter. Do deeply glitch. And there we go, with just minimal effort, uh, created a self-perpetuating uh, uh, drum effect that constantly changes the drums. Uh, you can set the, the tick for the uh, appear LFO for the green milk and actually change it so that it's not an exact unison. Let's do that real quick. There we go, just a little tutorial, how to use Buzz Tracker, how to use Pure LFOs, how to set up the beginnings for making your music project. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, and I hope you support Jess Cola Buzz, because it really is, in my opinion, one of the best DAWs available that's free, always has been. Uh, graphically, it's logical. If you take your songs out of it and throw them into a great program like Reaper afterwards, you can add additional layers. Reaper's great for putting on my vocal tracks and my instrumentation. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.